Now to a story about schools. Lots of kids know when they're at school that they much prefer working with their hands, building stuff and fixing things. They might want to be a plumber or a chef or some other tradie. The only problem is there's not always a chance to study those areas. But Catherine's discovered some schools that are changing that. They like working with their hands, they like getting dirty. Um, the technical colleges provide the opportunity to do that. Is it very similar to school? Oh, heck no. <laughs> it's more laid back. Welcome to one of the new technical colleges that are being set up right across Australia. They're for kids in year 11 and 12 who want to learn a trade. What's a trade? Well, it's jobs like bricklayers, electricians, mechanics, chefs, hairdressers, in fact, there are tons to choose from. 16-year-old Anthony wants to be a tradie. He's training to become a plumber. I knew I wanted to get into a trade, which was plumbing, and this here specialises in finding me an apprenticeship. An apprenticeship is how you learn a trade. You sign up to work with a tradie for a few years, and he or she agrees to teach you how to do the job. You even get paid. The new technical schools want to help kids get into apprenticeships. Even though he's at school, Anthony is already spending time with a plumber out on the job. The students also do a lot of practical stuff in class. You don't do all those boring maths lessons and all that. You do a lot of fun stuff. We make a lot of practical stuff like tables. We've done our own little house project and just like exciting stuff like that. They still do some of the normal school subjects, but they're specially designed to help them in their careers. So for example, in English, they'll learn how to write bills and business letters. At school, or at normal school, you're doing stuff that you may not want to do, but here you're doing stuff that you want to do, so you're more like, I guess, into it than other things like Romeo and Juliet. Tim is training to be a boiler maker, which means he loves working with metal. When I was younger, I wanted to be an architect and then a zoologist and so forth, but then I narrowed it down last year to a boiler maker. And you enjoy it? Oh, I love it. At the end of school, the kids have their year 12 certificate, but they're also part way through an apprenticeship and they walk out the door with a job. Of course, the tech colleges aren't just for boys. We have girls enrolled in our automotive courses uh, and uh, a significant number in our commercial cookery classes, um, but we also encourage girls to go into all the other different trade areas. But the idea of technical colleges isn't new. Technical high schools give boys a general education and prepare them for specialised jobs in industry. There used to be a lot of them, but around 30 years ago there was a shift. Kids were encouraged to go to university, so a lot of the tech schools were shut down. Big mistake, there's now a shortage of tradies. So that's why these new technical colleges are being built. This is one of them, and the company building it is using a college kid. 17-year-old Nick is helping to lay the concrete. He and the other students have big plans for the future. I want to own my company doing concreting. Um, go out to the mines. and. Um obviously do boiler making out there and earn a bit of money, come back here and buy a house. Continue with my apprenticeship and after that hopefully start my own business. 